The story of the Wellington tramway system started long ago when the first tram cars to grace the streets of Wellington were small four-wheeled tram cars hauled by a tiny steam-powered engine. The first electric tram cars were built in England and included several open-sided cross-seating trams. This early film clip, taken in the late 1920s, shows how trams were so much a part of the everyday life of the streets of Wellington. Nothing lasts forever. On the 2nd of May in 1964, large crowds gathered along the only remaining route to witness the last trams to run through the streets of Wellington. Three trams were driven down to Thorndon for a closing ceremony there. Then, following speeches from invited dignitaries, they moved off for the final time down for the new town sheds. At a meeting held in March 1965, the president of a new group, adopting the name the Wellington Tramway Museum, reported that negotiations had been completed for the acquisition of several trams, track and associated equipment, and that a site had been secured for the development of a working museum. Time to close up the museum until another day, when the Wellington trams will be back in business.